What's up, y'all? Your girl, Sandy. Okay, so we're doing something a little different today. I have been requested to do this tag probably a million times. I was actually officially tagged by my girl, Miss Diva Like. What's up, boo-boo? My girl, Kiki, on YouTube. I'm sure most of you guys are probably already subscribed to her. If you are not, y'all need to go ahead and check her out. She is thebomb.com, okay? So, anyway, thank you for tagging me in this tag, okay? And just wanted to do something a little different. Was kind of in a... Um, weird mood today I don't know to the point where I actually did a little bit of something to this face now you're gonna notice in a couple of these last couple videos your girl's been playing an eyeshadow don't laugh I am so an amateur and so I wanted to do kind of a smoky purpley eye to kind of accent some of the purple that's in this sweater so disregard if it looks extra vampy or not that professional it's whatever it's probably only my third time ever doing a smoky eye in my entire life so I'm playing around with makeup just having a little fun and I thought let me go ahead and sit in front of the camera and just do something a little different and I've been getting a lot of requests to do this video so I don't know what y'all trying to say by y'all trying to tell me to do this specific video this is the shopaholics tag yeah <clears throat> I didn't know y'all thought I was a shopaholic whatever it's all good. We're going to do the daggone thing. All right. I know you guys are going to ask a lot about my um, lip color, too. I keep forgetting to bring that over, so I don't have it with me. But check out the video in the, in the description box. I did a fall lipsticks video for deeper complexions. That video I'll put right over here, and I also have the link down below. And it features this lipstick in it, okay? So definitely make sure to check it out if you're wondering what lipstick I have on right now. And yeah. All right. So here we go. Okay. So this is the Shopaholics tag. I've got my questions in front of me. That's why I keep looking down. I only have looked at maybe two questions, and so I'm just going to basically wing it. All right? All right. Here we go. How old were you when you realized you were a shopaholic? Hmm. Okay. Um, first and foremost, can I just once again say, I don't think I'm a shopaholic, but whatever. Okay. When did I realize I love to shop? Yeah. I would probably say, say in high school. And that was when I actually first got my first job. I got my first job at 15 and a half or so. I worked at McDonald's. I was a fry girl. Not a fly girl, a fry girl. Y'all, I was busting some of them fries and they were delicious. Gained a few pounds, whatever. But, you know, I digress. Uh, uh yeah, so I was a fry girl at McDonald's. That was my first job. I was so ecstatic to have my own paycheck or whatever. And so I was a big saver, and I've always been a big saver in general. But um, when I had the opportunity to spend money, I would try to go to, like, the Limited Express, even though none of them clothes fit these thick thighs and these big hips back in the day. Y'all know Limited Express, all them little stores, they weren't made for us. You know what I'm saying. So I would try to get, you know, little things every now and again. And, um, but yeah. That's when I realized. I would probably say about 15 and a half, 16 when I got my first job. And then when I started to drive, it was on crack a lack and you know what I'm saying. How do you feel after shopping and do you have any weird habits you do after shopping? Okay. <laughs> How do you feel after shopping? It depends on what I'm shopping for. I mean, I do have moments, I'm not even going to lie. I have moments where I may be like, dang, I didn't need that. You know, why'd I buy that? You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of times when I do have that feeling, I will go back and take whatever it is back. And if I don't do it right away, I will do it within the next couple days. I don't play around with that because uh, I likes my money. You know what I'm saying? So... Um, a lot of the time I will, um, if I'm having any guilty feelings, I'll go ahead and put it back because I know I'm not going to enjoy it if I already have guilt about it afterwards. doesn't happen very often because um, I'm pretty watchful of what I spend. However, um, typically when I shop, depending on what it is, especially if I found something that I absolutely love, y'all, I'll be on some other levels. Like, I'll be hyped to the point where I go home, home, I'm telling Juice about it like he cares, like he even cares about the skirt or the, you know, the, the shoes or whatever. But... I will be so excited to the point where I will come home, I'll put it on the bed and kind of start to kind of style it. I already have it styled in my head most of the time when I see it. I already have an idea of how I want to put it together, but I'll like put it on the bed and style it on the bed, like put the little pieces with it or pants or whatever, if it's a shirt, skirt, whatever. I get really excited when I find some really good finds, especially when they're bargains. Especially when they're bargains. Do I have any weird habits after I shop? Depends. <laughs> okay. It depends. Now, here's the thing. I don't be hiding stuff from my husband when it comes to my shopping habits, but there's times 
that I have put things away in the closet or like hid it someplace, my mom does that too, okay? She'll come over and drop things off she don't want my dad to know about at my house, real talk, okay? So I think I got it from her, to be honest. So every now and again, this happens very rarely and I haven't done it in a long time, I will put some stuff away in my closet, like in the bags, just so you don't see it right away. But the problem with that is, every time I rock something, he's never seen, he knows it's new. You know, so then I get busted regardless. I don't know why I've done that in the past. But anyway, I don't do it anymore, but I used to back in the day day. Um, I would do that every now and again. Not all the time, every now and again, especially when I went ham at the stove. What are your top five favorite stores to shop at and why? Oh gosh. Um, whew, let's see. Y'all probably know most of these already. Okay, as far as stores are concerned, I love me some Forever 21. It just depends on where. I love Forever 21 online, preferably over the store here in St. Louis. If I had to pick a store, I would pick the store in Chicago. Y'all know that store is on some other levels. It's like three levels of just orgasms, okay? So um, I would usually, I would have to say the store in Chicago is a much better fit. I don't like going through Forever 21 here it's just chaotic too much stuff everywhere it's not as organized that kind of thing uh let's see aldo y'all knew that was coming aldo for shoes for the most part um i love me some h and m not as much h and m here as i do any place else a bigger city h and m is off the chain so chicago h and m off the chain um but h and m i love the stuff that h and m features uh let's see h and m oh god urban outfitters Y'all know that too. Um, I love ASOS. Love ASOS. The only thing I don't like about them is that, you know, their sizes are European sizes. So you just, sometimes depending on the cut of the dress or the cut of the skirt or the pants, you have to be really, really careful. So I have a tendency to buy kind of big on ASOS. And then that way, if it's a little too big, I can just have it altered. What item do you have the most of in your closet? Oh boy. Y'all on some real? Uh... I love shoes. Y'all know that, right? But I have like everything. I don't know how to explain it. I have a lot of shoes. I have a lot of different types of shoes, specifically sneakers, because y'all know I'm a sneaker head. I love, love platforms, heels, that kind of thing. I love booties, so I have a lot of those types of things. Um, as far as clothing is concerned, I have everything I have is like v-neck everything I have is off the shoulder or I'll make it off the shoulder um, or one shoulder I have a lot of sundresses because I'm obsessed with sundresses during the spring and the summer um, tons so I pretty much have I'm one of those people especially because of pants and the way that some pants fit me because of the hips and my high-waistedness um, I pretty much if I find something that works and it's not too expensive I will buy it in every color because I know it's gonna be harder for me to find especially if it fits well as far as pants um, what's the most you've ever spent on one shopping trip honestly I don't even know y'all because I don't really go ham when I shop it's kind of one of those things where I just I do a sporadic shopping excursion so I'll just find something you know find a few items and then I might find another few items some other time you know what I mean I don't do like where I'm spending stacks on deck in one shopping trip you know what I mean so um, I don't really know to be honest um, do you ever experience shoppers regret I already said that uh, I do and I have and typically when I do that I will return the items and what was something that you regretted buying oh and y'all haven't seen these yet. There's two outfits, two dresses of the same dress, just different colors, that I got from Urban Outfitters. And when I tried them on, I loved them on. But when I got them home, I was like, eh. And maybe I'll show it to you in another haul so y'all can see them or whatever. I'm going to try to make them work because um, I just want to see why I got them. <laughs> but um, I got them a long time ago, and I don't know what the heck I was thinking when I got them. When you see them, you'll understand. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. What's your favorite thing to buy? Anything like this, y'all know, okay? Anything off the shoulder like this, it's an automatic by default. I'm gonna get off the shoulder, I'm gonna get one shoulder, I'm gonna get strapless. That's probably the major thing that I have in my closet. And if I can't buy it this way, I will make it this way. Okay, that's my signature. Y'all know about the S, so I gotta feature that. I'm trying to get, I might be getting another tattoo, by the way. Sometime, I don't know where it's gonna be. Although I have an idea. Okay, I digress, off topic. Um, do you buy the same item in different colors? Yes. I already told you, it's really skirts, pants, things, pants, that didn't make no daggone sense. Skirts, pants, things that I know I may not find or that they are a different type of fit, especially pants. Do you ever use dressing rooms? Ugh. 
I'm, I have a love-hate relationship with dressing rooms. I know because of my body type, I have to try on some types of outfits, but for the most part, I pretty much know what size I am, especially in tops and that kind of thing. Um, so I don't necessarily love going to the dressing rooms. I will go, um, but that's only if it's something that I know I should go ahead and try on, especially if it's something like Forever 21 where I know I'm not going to get my money back, then I'll get more of a store credit. I don't want to waste money, so I'd rather just try it on, make sure it works before I walk out the store. Do you prefer to go shopping alone or with others? And who's your favorite shopping buddy? Honestly, I like to shop solo dolo and here's the reason the people that actually do enjoy shopping that I have gone out with in the past they take too long I don't have time for that I either find what I like and I keeps it moving I grab what I grab and I try it on and I, and I push forward I don't have time to sit around the store for three hours look around look at the same daggone racks over and over and over again before you decide to decide to go to the dressing room you know what I'm saying that is whack. I have done it a million times over with friends. I'm not a fan. I would rather shop solo dolo. I don't mind shopping with Juice, but he distracts me. When I go shopping, I like to focus on what I'm doing and keep it pushing. So, especially when I'm on a mission to find something in particular, peace out. I'm on my own, kid. And it's just easier for me to focus and concentrate. So, yeah. All right. If you could go shopping with a celeb blogger, YT guru, who would it be and why? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Oh, Lord. Let me look at my time. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. A couple people. Um, first of all, Miss Diva Like Kiki. I absolutely would love to shop with her. I think we'd be in the mall or the store or whatever way too long because both her and I have a love for fashion. And we all know Kiki loves to shop. And, you know, y'all know I love me some shopping and fashion and whatever, too. So, I would say Miss Diva Like. I would for sure say that. Uh, all Things Fabulous 101. What's up, girl? absolutely would love to shop with her I think I mean these people that I'm naming I'd probably be in the store too long with okay we'd be in the store for hours but or in the mall or wherever but I think she'd be a great shopping buddy she has amazing fashion sense y'all probably already subscribed to her too and if you're not you need to be um uh, oh as far as just like thrifting and just getting out and doing some just fun shopping and whatever I would definitely say African export for show um, she has some amazingly eclectic taste in fashion I love it and her thrifting is off the chain if y'all have not been or haven't subscribed to her channel y'all need to check her out too she does amazing thrifting finds and just has an amazing fashion sense and I think it'd be fun because she crazy like me so um gosh bronze goddess for show okay uh for show for show i think she'd be a lot of fun her and i like that's my girl okay that's my man's in them she don't know that yet but that's my man's in them um for show for show i would say her a coca-cola wifey that's my girl there's a ton of girls that i would totally go with just to have the experience do i know if we get out the mall anytime soon probably not Maybe African Export will probably get me out the mall faster. I don't see her wanting to do it for hours and hours, but um, it'd be fun. Definitely fun with all those ladies. So, what's your favorite treat, snack to eat, drink while after shopping? I don't like to eat or drink while I'm shopping. I'm focused. So, when I'm coasting, I don't want nothing in my hand because I got to have both my arms to be able to carry my purse and all the rest of the stuff that I pick out from the racks. So I'm focused. When I'm, when I'm, when I'm doing my thug this, I'll be starving and I will stay focused. And then when I find what I need or am satisfied enough, then I'll get something to eat or drink or whatever. So what is something you've always wanted to buy but never had the money to do so? It's not so much I didn't have the money to do so, although now I wouldn't do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, oh gosh. There's a couple of Louis Vuitton bags. Y'all know I have an obsession with Louis Vuitton. A couple of Louis Vuitton bags I for sure want. And I've always wanted a pair of Louis Vuittons just to have one pair. The problem that I have with uh, both of those is both of those things are expensive as all get out. I wouldn't rush to go buy them now. Secondly, Christian Louis Vuittons are ridiculously uncomfortable. And I'm not into buying shoes especially that, that are that expensive, that aren't comfortable to rock. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I haven't bought a pair yet. Um, because I don't know if I want to spend that kind of money on something that's going to make my feet hurt. And y'all know your girl got some big ass feet already as it is for me to be walking around with some shoes that don't give me some bunions. Y'all know how my... No. Okay? Ain't nobody trying to accentuate my bunions. If you had $1,000 to spend on anything you wanted, what would you splurge on? Honestly, if I had an additional $1,000, my black butt would put it in the savings account because right now, y'all already know my situation, so I put it up. I wouldn't spend it on anything crazy. That's just me. And that's, that's how I would be in general anyway. Um, but if that wasn't the case and uh, I just 
had the opportunity to splurge, I'd probably say I would put it towards making my studio. Um, I haven't really told you all this, but I'm going to make a studio in my house some way, some house or another. So working on how I'm going to lay it out and where I'm going to put it, but making some kind of filming studio, diva room slash whatever. Something like that. So that's probably what I'd put it towards is stuff, equipment, things for me to make um, the room complete. This is the last question. Are you a proud shopaholic? I don't know if I'm considering myself a shopaholic, y'all. I appreciate nice things. I have a love for finding great bargains and great finds. Um, am I a proud shopaholic? I'm a proud frugal fashionista. How about that? Frugal fashionista, okay? Proud of that, all right? I will find myself a bargain. I will make something out of nothing. You hear me? So anyway, thank you so much, Kiki, for tagging me on this tag. Um, that was fun. I haven't done one of those in a long time. Um, if you guys want to see me do any other tags, let me know down below. If you guys want to do a video response to this tag, definitely do so. I, all I have to do is approve it. Just make sure it's this tag and to this video, okay? And anyone else that I'm tagging on this video, I will leave their um, their names down below. So check the description box to see if you're not tagged in this video. And I'd love to see y'all's tags. Anyone else who wants to do this more than welcome. And yeah, that's about it, y'all. As always, follow me on Twitter, twitter.com forward slash socialite sandy. Friend me on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash the socialite life. Follow my blog, the socialite life .blogspot.com. Of course, hit me up on Instagram at socialite sandy and yeah you already know I love y'all and I'll see y'all in the next video bye